In this demo, we will show how to set up a wireless connection in an industrial Ethernet network using the NBUS Wireless Bridge 2. The wireless connection can be up to 400 meters in range and communicate via Bluetooth or wireless LAN. I can set up the connection in several ways. The fastest way is to use the Mode button. To show how this works, I've hooked up two wireless bridges to power an Ethernet using the M12 connectors. I power up the modules and can see that the LEDs light up. On the first module, I press the Mode button until the C LED is lit and then hold it for two seconds to confirm. This means that this unit should go into a mode called Await Automatic Discovery and Configuration. A list of all easy config modes and their pressing sequences can be found in the manual. On the second unit, I press the Mode button until the B and C LED is lit and then confirm by pressing for at least two seconds. This means that the wireless bridge should discover awaiting units and then configure them as Bluetooth clients. A wireless link is now being established and different security and integrity parameters are being exchanged between the two units. This usually takes a minute or two, so we'll jump ahead a bit and we can see that a wireless link is now established. The LEDs display that we're using Bluetooth and that we have full link quality. If we want to establish a connection via wireless LAN, we do the same thing. We press the first unit until the C LED is lit and then confirm to make it go to Await Automatic Discovery and Configuration mode. And on the other unit, I press the button until the A and C LED is lit. This will now establish a wireless LAN connection instead. Shortly put, wireless LAN gives me a higher data throughput, while Bluetooth gives me a more robust wireless connection. I can also set up my connection in the graphical user interface of the product. By connecting my computer to the same network as the wireless bridge, I can type in the IP address of the wireless bridge, which by default is 192.168.0.99. Here I can do some more advanced settings if I wish, but the easiest thing is to go to the Easy Config modes. By going to the Easy Config menu, I can do the same thing as I did when I pressed the Mode button. If I choose Mode 4, Await Automatic Discovery and Configuration, it will be the same as if I press the button until the C LED is lit. And by clicking Set, I apply the changes to the wireless bridge. That's how easy it is to establish a wireless connection over wireless LAN or Bluetooth. I can now attach a DIN clip to the wireless bridge if it needs to go into a cabinet. Or mount it on a wall or a flat surface using the screw holes in the product.